Hello everyone and welcome back. Dwarf Lab released the new Sky Atlas feature for beta testing. Finally, I will be able to test this new Sky Atlas that will be available also for the Dwarf 2 Smart Telescope and also for the Dwarf 3. Now it's currently daytime here, however, I've downloaded the beta firmware and will install now on the Dwarf 2 Smart Telescope. I'm here recording also on my phone with the app. I did set up here the Dwarf 2 Smart Telescope. Just place it on the tripod to make a fast test and see how it will move when we'll select a target even if it's daytime and we'll continue after it gets dark and we'll be able to see also through the live view of the, the, of the app. Okay, we connect it and let's go again Sky Atlas and let's just select here a target from this list. Oh, it looks so nice. We have also similar with Stellarium uh, landscape. Let's select Pleiades. Okay. Point the lens to a cloudless sky with a dense with dense stars, ensuring these are no obstruction. Then we need to press OK. And we'll auto focus, seems. But we are in the house. It wants to calibrate. However, it cannot calibrate it here. I do have a astrophotography image with a galaxy on the other screen <laughs> but yeah it will not be able to calibrate and it will fail you can do this only i believe in the tonight and where it will be able to plate solve we have here options grid labels landscape we can remove the landscape or enable it labels and grid we can disable and also atmosphere so you see now it's actually daytime so first look here on the app, it looks similar with Stellarium, very nice Sky Atlas. We have the option here to search targets. Look, Markerians Chain, Leo Quartet, C5, M35. We have here some recommended deep sky objects. We have the option to select favorites. And here we have the Dwarf Lab window with solar and lunar, Nebula. Here are a lot of Nebula targets, Galaxy. That we can also select the target from here. Now the good news is that we can select directly from the Sky Atlas. Now I'll continue with this test when I'll be able to properly test the app, make the autofocus plate solve, also test how accurate will be the go to with the new Sky Atlas feature. So I'll see you in the next part once it gets dark. We'll point here the optical tube towards the sky, turn on the dwarf, the dwarf to smart telescope, we'll connect and test the new Sky Atlas feature that will be available also for the dwarf 2 and the dwarf 3 smart telescope. Now I'm beta testing, finally we have a clear sky, I've tested in daytime and we'll connect, you should be able to connect now, dwarf, I think we can go Atlas directly and normally it will also calibrate. So here we have the map. We can also hold it like this, the phone, or we can change the position. Here we have compass. Look how nice. So we can, we can basically move like this and we can see the Milky Way and we can find some nice object to image. Okay, we have Messier 10 here. I'm not sure if this is MSR 12. So now I'm basically moving the phone and seeing the objects. Let's see MSR 12 and let's try it. We'll select it and let's find it. And now it will calibrate. It should calibrate, plate solve and also focus. So first we'll do autofocus. I'm wondering how the autofocus will uh, Will be. I was out of focus with the dwarf, so yeah, it worked. I think it worked. Let's see, calibrating. It was slower, but it worked. So here they can improve a little bit the autofocuser to be faster. Okay, tracking Gumball Globular Cluster. We are already in astro mode. Shutter one second, gain 80. Yeah, it is here. So it found it. 
set in center. We'll go with uh, infrared cut and begin a short plan so we can see it better. It worked. The autofocus are everything directly from the Sky Atlas. So how cool is that, right? Oh, and we have also, it seems, uh, a satellite trail. We have it, it's in center and it worked. We can also stop tracking if we want. Let's see if we stop, what will happen. And we can move. Finally, I wanted this option for a long time to stop tracking and move and start tracking again. Ok, let's find another target, Double Star Mizar. So let's see. And then find a galaxy or a nebula. And look, we have them here, tracking Mizar. Let's zoom in. Let's try the autofocus again. We have Infinity and Auto, let's try Auto. If you want to be faster, we can just, it will still, it will still, uh, it works slower, true, but it's good that it works, good. So it's focused, defocused, I think it's measuring the data. Okay, and it went to the position that it got the best focus. Okay. Maybe a reflection like M21. Okay. You go Trifi Nebula. Let's see if it will find it. And then we'll search for a galaxy. Okay. Now let's see the settings. Spooler 15. We'll go to default and start the plan and it's almost in the middle yeah we do have some light from somewhere we just have to stop it oh i have trees i think there are trees or something yeah we'll go function we'll go sky atlas again search and here we have recommended let's try we'll pull galaxy Yes, I want. Let's press OK. And you can see it's moving right now. OK, it's tracking. It says it's tracking. Now we'll go. We'll start a plan. 15 seconds and begin. And we leave the phone outside here a little bit to see at least 10 minutes then we'll charge it because I forgot to charge it in time. So this is it. Sky Atlas works flawlessly on my first attempt. <laughs> I'm really impressed. In the beta testing I didn't see any error so far. And look, it's in center. It's in center. So this is all for tonight. The Sky Atlas app works very good on the first test on the Dwarf 2. And of course, it will be available also for the Dwarf 3 Smart Telescope. If you are interested in upgrading the Dwarf 2 with the Dwarf 3, please check also the filler links in the description. It will help the channel out. Also, if you don't have the Dwarf 2 and you want to buy the new Dwarf 3 Smart Telescope. I'm really excited to test the Dwarf 3. I think it will be a big improvement compared with the Dwarf because we have everything almost everything better larger sensor larger focal length and also larger aperture this was beta testing first look on the sky atlas map for the dwarf 2 and dwarf 3 smart telescope if you enjoyed watching don't forget to like subscribe check also the channel membership and i'll see you soon in my next videos clear sky everyone